For our machine gun, we'll be using two 260s. We've got a gray 260 inflated with about a four and a half inch tail on the end of it. And then we've got a black 260, also with about a four to a four and a half inch tail on it. We're gonna start with our black, starting at the knot end. We'll make a little small half inch bubble, grabbing the knot, twist that into a pinch twist. Another small half inch bubble, and we'll make that into a pinch twist as well. Now we're gonna make about a four inch bubble, another half inch bubble, make that a pinch twist, about a three inch bubble, another half inch bubble, making that a pinch twist as well. And then we're gonna come back up and join here, and I'll usually make this one slightly longer than that one. I'll twist that, and then lock it into those two pinch twists where we first started. Now we're going to come along and measure out to about a four inch bubble. Make another half inch bubble. Make that into a pinch twist. Another half inch bubble. And again, another pinch twist. What's left over, gently squeeze it so it's almost out to the end. Grab the end of the nipple, bring it back up to those two pinch twists. Twist it around once or twice to lock it in place. And there's the first part. Now we're going to take our gray, grab in the knot end, twist it into those two pinch twists there so that it's secured in there. Now we're going to take and run it alongside this black one here. So we want a bubble about the same size as that. And then twist that into those back two pinch twists. And circle around to make sure it's secured in. Now coming out the opposite side of that, the bottom, we're gonna make a little trigger guard. So we'll make about a six or so inch bubble into a fold twist. Twist that back into those ear twists there. Go around, making sure it's secured in there. And then we're gonna come back along the top. Oh, it's the top for now. We need another bubble about the same size as that one. Twist that again up into those two ear twists in the front now. And then come out on the opposite side. Now we're gonna take straighten our ear twist and this assembly and rotate it around so that the black is on top, the two grays are on the bottom. Now we're gonna take this one as our trigger. So we'll turn it facing the front and sort of wedge it up in between those two grays there kind of mashes so it opens up a little bit. Now we're going to come back to our front, a little squeeze to soften it, make about a two and a half inch bubble, about a half inch bubble, and make that a pinch twist. Another half inch bubble, make that a pinch twist as well. Now I need another bubble the same size as that one. Twist that into the back end there. Make sure that's there. And then come back along the top, and again another bubble the same size there. Twist that in. And there we have our machine gun. Let's turn this. Sometimes it, you have to position to work it to get it to stay right. There we go. A machine gun.